Yep, I lost my voice at reunion and it's starting to finally come back, but it's very hoarse. <laughs> but it's all for a good reason. So I'm back from Sensi Family Reunion 2016 and let me tell you, this was one of the most emotional reunions that I've ever been to. And this is my fifth. Um, wow, that's all I can say. It was amazing. Um, you know, and the reunion itself was, um, I think it was pretty spot on. They had a product and training expo that I was part of, which was exciting. Half of the reason that I lost my voice, um, cause all day Thursday I did training on online parties and live streaming and, uh, I had a microphone for most of it, but it was so loud in that building that I had to pretty much yell and, and project my voice as much as I could, and apparently I didn't do it right. And I know better because I'm, I've had diaphragm um, training, per se, with my singing, but oh well. So, <clears throat> but emotionally, it was so amazing because, um, I don't know, I, I think this was one of the first... I get approached very often um, at reunions or at world tours or places that we go um, for Sensi and I am, you know, hugged and oh, I, you know, I, I follow you on YouTube and I am so grateful for those people and it just, for some reason it touched my heart this time that there are so many people out there who love me and I'm gonna probably get emotional again um, there are, you know and I just I guess I never really understood or internalized how people felt about these videos or some of the things that I've, I just take it I just do those things I help people because I want to help people um, it's not because I want recognition it's not because I want pats on the back it's just because I enjoy doing that because my fulfillment from that is to see that it's helping you and you're progressing in your business because maybe something that I said that's what I um, get a charge from that's what I love doing um, and it was just so uh, it was a bit overwhelming I think this reunion because there were so many people coming up to me and there were some that were even in tears, which I didn't understand. You know, I, I guess I just don't understand why someone meeting me for the first time would be so drawn to tears. Um, you know, do I think I'm, I'm worth those things? Yeah, I mean, I guess for a long time I just didn't think that I was worthy of anything, really. Um, so it was just very overwhelming. Um, and then on top of that, Wednesday night, we had a team gathering that I put together and our team is just, <sighs> wow. What amazing, caring, giving people. I am so blessed that they are part of my family and that they have somewhere down the line chosen me, whether it was through my front line or, you know, generations down and we just bonded so much um, we shared our stories we gave out awards uh, we recognized people for their accomplishments and their achievements um, and it was just such a great great gathering and um, I had been planning and trying to get Heidi and Orville to come and meet my team and meet my group um, and right up until the last minute, I wasn't sure if it was going to happen. And at one point, uh, Heidi texted me and said, you need to come and get me. And when I went up and found, I thought it was because they were lost. They didn't know where we were. Um, but when I got there, they were just surrounded by people wanting to hug and take pictures and introduce themselves. And um, I guess they needed my presence to say, hey, we have a prior engagement. We have to go. I felt like that big though I was like oh my god I'm sorry I don't want to be pulling you guys away from her, them I felt bad but yet on the other hand it was a blessing because they did show up for our team gathering and I think uh, the team was rather tickled 
um, to, to give it a very, <laughs> they were pretty thrilled. Um, they took individual pictures with the, everyone. Um, they just kind of joked around and, and melded right into our group. I thought maybe they were going to give some kind of a speech or, you know, talk or whatever. And nope. They just melded right in and, um, you know, gave a little bit of a, um, Congratulations, um, Mark Avera, someone on John Sparks' team who was um, on my team, um, at one point said, Orville, can I ask you a question? Because we went to the Grand Old Opry on Tuesday night, and Lauren Elena was one of the performers, along with Scotty McCreary. Um, and one of her new uh, songs is called Road Less Traveled. Um, we have a warmer, the camper warmer, that was called um, Road Less Traveled. And so Mark was sitting there and he said, Orville, why don't you go, and with his strong southern accent, he said, why don't you go and give that, he says, I hope you're going to go and give that Lauren girl uh, one of our warmers. And I don't even think it was five seconds. And Orville was on, he's like, that is an excellent idea. And I don't know why they didn't think about it, but you, you know, you take for granted sometimes that people think, those things and when they're so filled with trying to be organized and going here and going there they you know sometimes those things don't pop in their head he picked up that phone so quick and organized to have one shipped overnight um and they ended up taking i think one of the displays or maybe two of the displays because they had one that um they gave to her they presented to her and there's one that they had signed so I think Mark was pretty thrilled that Orville jumped, um, you know, but one of the things that I hope my team realized, and this is something that I've realized, um, over the past few years is that Heidi and Orville are pretty down to earth. Um, you know, I, I know that they have some, they have to maintain some, um, rigidness, I suppose, because of that type of atmosphere where people will flock to them while they're walking somewhere. I mean, they're celebrities in, in our eyes, right? So when they're walking somewhere and they're out in public, um, people will flock to them. And then all of a sudden they're standing there taking pictures for, you know, an hour or so. Um, and they were supposed to have been somewhere. So, um, but I hope that my team realized that they are extremely genuine people. They're very loving. They're very giving of their time. Um, they're extremely authentic and I think that's the thing that I really want them to see is that, you know, yes, we hold them on a pedestal, but they are human. Um, they have the same type of hearts that beat inside their body. Um, they both, you know, put their under underwear on the same way. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those things that uh, we do put them up there on a pedestal and, and as we should out of respect. Um, I think that we should honor them for what they've done for us, right? I mean, they've given us this opportunity to share with others and change lives. Um, so, yeah, I really hope that they did get that um, understanding that Heidi and Orville are extremely authentic. And I don't think you're going to find those types of owners in any other company. Um, if so, it's extremely, extremely rare especially in a direct sales business where there are hundreds of thousands of consultants that at times don't even know who their owners are, um, nonetheless get to take a picture with them or in my case, eat dinner with them or have these amazing conversations with um, or have an opportunity to interview them like I had done Heidi, I think it's like three or four years ago now. Um, but yeah, it was such an emotional um, reunion this year and I'm just so grateful to have this um, be part of who I am, you know. I did my five-year walk this year, which was exciting. Um, I did my star director walk this year, which was exciting. Um, I also was um, awarded with the annual sales award um, this year, so I got to take the stage and walk for that. Um, and this year was pretty different because in past years, when you do a stage walk, uh, basically what that means is we all lined up in the back and um, 
came onto the stage to be recognized and they would show our picture and our name up on the big screen to recognize us for whatever it was that that walk was for. And this year, um, for the star director walk, we, yeah, for the star director walk, cause see the stage was set up with three ramps. So let's say that this is the stage. There was a very long ramp towards the audience. And once you got to that middle circle, there were two ramps that went off to the side. Um, and they were long, like they were really long. <laughs> um, and usually when we go and do those walks, we come up on stage and we stand and take our wave and our acknowledgement. And then we kind of go off pretty quickly onto, um, down the stairs and then off onto the, the floor. Um, this one, this year, I mean, the recognition was long. So for the uh, star director walk, we, um, I can't remember which one it was now. I'm pretty sure that the star director walk, why can't I remember? Oh no, yeah, okay, so five year, our five year walk, um, we went from the side over the center circle and then over to the side so these two were pretty long too so we did that whole walk and then for the star director and annual sales we came out from on stage we said our hello and they announced our name and then we went to the center one and walked all the way down the middle and then down the side so it was a very long promenade <laughs> Which was kind of cool because we don't usually get that much, um, what I call airtime <laughs> when you're getting to say hi to people and your team and um, all of those things from stage. So it's pretty exciting. And um, yeah, so that was kind of a, a, an emotional thing too. I mean, it was just so emotional this year. Uh, but I also wanted to show you, I don't want to make this too long. It's already 12 minutes. I want to show you our commemorative warmer that we got this year um, as well as one of the uh, Sensi store items um, to give you a sneak peek of some of the things that are coming along and the new packaging and that sort of thing. So I was pretty excited about um, a couple of these things. So let me show you the um, Sensi store item first. So here's a, a peek at the new packaging. Um, see where it shows all of the different categories on the box. And yeah, I lost a nail. I had one nail that I had to, these are all real nails this one was a fake nail and of course it's the one that popped off on the way home though <laughs> so it lasted all week long which was pretty cool um all right so this is the new packaging and this particular item is which i adore a new mug but do you see something on there it's very hard to see doesn't it hang on let me see if i can grab oh, mine's not hot anymore um, I got two of these and when you warm it up, when you put coffee or tea or something and this cup gets hot, these butterflies turn a different color. It's really super, super cool. I don't know if you can see those or not. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, they change color. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, oh, this one has a chip on it. Poo. Pooey. Um, so yeah. That's pretty cool. So that's just a sneak peek of some of the things that are coming in the Sensi Family Store. But this is what I wanted to unbox. And I'm going to keep it unboxed because you guys know that I have my um, commemorative warmers up on my, what I call my trophy shelves. Because um, I consider these trophies. Even if it wasn't something that I won, um, I got it because I went to reunion. And only people that go to reunion have the opportunity to get this. So... Um, you know, it's kind of a trophy to me, but it's super, super cool. And for me, especially, I don't know if you guys know some of my history, but I used to be a singer. Well, I still sing, but not, um, in competition or anything like that. So here is the, um, box and you guys might've seen already the, uh, warmer, but I wanted to show it to you firsthand. Um, we went to music city guys, so it's based on music, right? So here's the box. Yep, it's a microphone, so I'll get to show you that in a minute. But here is the beautiful Share Your Song box with the birds. Um, pretty excited about the new catalog, too. It's beautiful. All right, so... 
Thank goodness it's not made the same as some of our other warmers because that would have broken. It's metal. It's pretty sweet. That much I will tell you. Um, a lot of bags on it. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. Oh, wow. I, see, this is the first time that I actually see it in person, though. All right, so let me put it together. And then I can show you what it looks like. How stinking cute is that? So you want to see how it works? See, here's the cord. It's actually a cord, like a fabric cord, so that it doesn't, it's easier to, to flex, right? So the cord comes down in through here, and then it comes out. So this is like a, it's a corded cord. I don't know if you can tell. It's not plastic. See how it's like a braided cord? So it's different. I wonder if the, all the cords are going to come out like that from now on. So there's an on-off switch back here instead of on the cord. It's back here. The top comes off. The dish is here, and it's an element. So the dish goes in here, wax goes in there, and then you can put the top on. And there's tons of holes, so I'm imagining that the fragrance is going to come out really well. But I don't warm anything in my commemorative warmers. I never have, and I'm not going to start now. So here it says Scentsy on the bottom. And that's the indicator light. Isn't that adorable? I mean, it looks like a real microphone. I'm super excited about that. So that's going to go up on my shelf, and I just wanted to share that with you. Um, so that's kind of my Scentsy Family Reunion 2016 recap. Um, they had some amazing speakers. Mel Robbins is one of them. I absolutely love her. If she has any books, I'm going to be getting some. Uh, we also had John Addison, amazing speaker. Some of the things that I got, um, well, the, the main message that Mel Robbins was giving us is she taught us how to overcome that fear of the unknown and the fear of wanting to take that step forward or putting your toes in the, in the water. Um, and she, she taught us a strategy that includes 54321, and everybody that saw her will know what I'm talking about. Um, that when you are concerned, scared, not wanting to move forward, that you can snap yourself out of it by just saying five, four, three, two, one, and just do it. Like giving yourself a, t a countdown and just doing what you are um, worried or concerned. I mean, obviously in a safe manner, but um, it gives you that extra little, there's more behind it, but it gives you that little extra boost um, to move forward. And then John Addison, um, I, one of the things that I got from him, which I don't know why it's stuck in my head. Maybe it's cause I feel old. Um, or I thought I felt old. One of the things that he said was you only are old if you are talking about the things that you did rather than the things you are going to do. So I thought that was pretty, I mean, it seems like very, um, you know, the, the, the depth of it isn't that deep, but it hit me for some reason. Um, but yeah, he had some great things to do as well. And then we had Second City Works. That was, um, that is, I had no idea what they were, by the way. I had n no idea what they were and what they were going to do. Um, I just saw them on our schedule and I, someone said that they were comedians or, or um, a comedian show that trained. Um, and that's exactly what they were. It was so funny. They did so much interaction with the audience. Um, it was amazing. And they, they reminded me of the show, Whose Line Is It Anyway? So basically, they are improv for their comic show, but they teach you how to improv in real life and in your business. And it was pretty awesome. I mean, we did a lot of exercises within little mini groups and stuff, and I usually don't dig those too much. I kind of get embarrassed sometimes because you just, you're afraid to do something wrong, right? Um, but I met some amazing people um, doing that because we kept switching groups, and uh, it was fun. 
it was fun. I mean, we, we had a lot of fun. We did some silly, crazy things together and it was just pretty awesome. So if you don't know who they are, go up, go and look up second, second city works, um, and see, uh, what you know about them. Matter of fact, I haven't looked at them online and I'm going to go and find them as well because I enjoyed them that much. Um, Heidi and Orville's speeches were spot on, um, as always. And, uh, you know, Orville's speech was primarily about, um, longevity, you know, of our, our company. And he always says that he, you know, Heidi's speech is always about feelings and his speech is always about, um, business. And, um, I don't know. He got a little feeling. He got he got emotional up on the stage and, and had some tears coming. So um, his was about feeling too and, and how um, our company has longevity and, and the reasons why and that sort of thing. So hopefully he'll have that speech uh, available after all of the reunions are over and um, you know other the, the other regions have the opportunity to hear his uh, keynote speech, which I'm really excited for you guys to hear. So, wrapping it up, it's 21 minutes into this video. I'm sorry it's so long, but I just felt that I needed to recap Sensi Family Reunion with, from my view. Um, for all of you that are consultants watching that gave me a thumbs up video uh, picture, I'm going to be working on that next week. Um, so hopefully I can get that completed uh, by the end of next week sometime. Um, so, other than that, if you are not a Sensi Consultant, Gosh, I wish you would be so that you could come and join us to do these things. It's just so amazing and I can't express it. Um, you'd have to figure out, it. you know, you'd have to feel it on your own. I mean, I can't tell people how to feel, right? And it's so hard sometimes to express how awesome it is and what it's done for us. And, um, you know, if you're a consultant, you understand what I'm saying. And if you're not a consultant, you may not understand. So the only way that you will is if you join us really and i'm not trying to say that to make you join i'm just saying that's kind of how it is it's such an amazing thing that um it pulls at your heartstrings and it's um pretty awesome so anyway till the next video have an amazing day go make it an amazing day for somebody else i'll see you later